If you drive past the Guardian Centers in Perry, you'll see a building with a big parking lot. Behind that building, men in the Air Force are training for deployment. They are put in situations like a hurricane, flood, or a bomb threat to get them ready for deployment. 41 NBC's Emanuela Rendini has more. Men in the United States Air Force experience a week long of situations like a U.S. pilot being shot, hurricane flooding, and even a suicide bomber causing a building to collapse. We basically come out here and create scenarios to try to mimic uh, things that the guys might see uh, on a real deployment. These scenarios are created at the Guardian Centers. It gives people from different organizations like the military or first responders a chance to experience situations where their help will be needed. Brian Gilbert is an intelligence NCYC for the Air Force. He says training is important. In the year prior, we make all of our training that and that prior year to basically coincide with wherever we're on the hook to go the following year. Gilbert says his team includes people with different levels of experience since they are reserve unit. Some people have been deployed several times, while for some, it will be their first. The goal for the entire team is to train from multiple situations so deployment isn't a shock. Just to make things as real as possible so that when a guy steps off of an aircraft or jumps out of an airplane, it's not the first time he's ever done it. So that uh, you can kind of get that adrenaline down and make the feeling normal. Says making that feeling normal will allow people to make better decisions. In Perry, Emanuela Rendini, 41 NBC News. Gilbert says he can't say when and where his team will be deployed, but he says you can bet they'll be ready.